seven years in the making, the Zangoshi Chronicles is a transmedia project created by New Zealand entrepreneurs. It's backed by a powerhouse of investors, Theresa Gatting, Dame Julie Christie and Cecilia and James Robinson. Now the story centres around an interactive fantasy world for tween and pre-teens and it has the vision of empowering young girls in particular with leadership skills. Creators Bridget and Renelle join us now. Welcome guys. Yes, welcome and congratulations. This is exciting. <laughs> it sounds so fascinating. Bridget, let's start with you. You are a writer and yes. a mum of young girls. Mm -hmm. So what prompted you to create the Zangoshi Chronicles? Well, I have to be totally honest and say when I set out, I was not thinking about the Zangoshi Chronicles. I never imagined it would turn into this huge sort of uh, multi-platform beast. That it has, yeah. <laughs> um, but what I was thinking about was my then four-year-old daughter and looking ahead to what she potentially might enjoy in terms of entertainment when she got bigger. Um, I could see lots and lots of cool stuff for little kids, preschoolers, and lots of really great stuff for teenagers. But the, the middles, the sort of um, seven to 12-year-olds, just didn't seem to be very well catered to. Mm. And so I was kind of thinking about what I used to love as a kid and thinking, what, what's Hannah going to love? Well, no, and in today's modern world, young girls deserve great entertainment, don't they? I mean, it's been a market, mm. I guess, that's been lacking for a while. Why was this project important to you, Renelle? You know, again, it was my little girl as well. We sort of had a look, and um, I've been in the TV industry for a long time, so I did lots of corporates, commercials and everything. And then I thought, well, what are they doing? And she was very interested in games. So I thought, well, why don't we look at making a game? So we decided, well, we'll just do the whole thing. The transmedia and Bridget could write a book, and we'll do the game and the television, and it's, it's all just um, really developed from there. We'll just take everything on. Well, let's take a look at the Zangoshi trailer then, shall we? Welcome. My name is... Oh, actually, my name in Indalian would tie up your tongue and leave you with a headache. <laughs> hmm. The closest Earth name would be... <gasps> Muriel. It means Star of the Sea. Oh, and you'll need to pass a zingerel while you're here, so let's sort that out quick smart. Now, I could yak on forever about the Indigo Isles and the rest of my beloved planets in Goshi, but I have a queendom to run, and you, Super Sleuth, have an investigation to begin. Have a blast, and good luck! Oh, oh look, there is so much to investigate. That looks incredible. But just, just quickly, who was that voice? It seems very familiar to me. It's Amanda Billing. Amanda Bill. I knew it was. I knew of course it, was it is. Queen Muriel. <laughs> now, you know, can you explain a bit more about how the entire project works? Because we've got a computer game, have we got a book? And how does it all work together? The whole, the whole property is based on a story of friendship between a couple of 12-year-old girls. Um, and that story is woven throughout all the, um, the different entities that we have. So we, we have literally started with the book, um, which has just launched last week um, at Dorothy Butler's Children's Bookshop, which was a real thrill for me because it was a really um, wonderful bookshop that I loved. As yeah, a isn't kid. that special? Really, yeah. really neat. Um, and, and then the game is to follow in the next couple of months and hopefully the TV series. But all the way through the same, the same story is woven, except that you explore different parts of it. Um, so it truly is a transmedia property from that point of view. And there's a, there's an, a free app that you can download with the book, isn't there? That's right. So how does that all work? So the app is free, you just go and um, go and Goshi Dragonfly. Yeah. So you can go it on the Android or iOS. And then literally what you need to do in the book is about 10 different images. So they've all got little purple frames. So if we have you... a go? Yeah, let's have a go. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So um, this is Willa Bella. So she's our main little character. Mm -hmm. Just get my okay. fingers out of the <laughs> Oh, what? You got your finger on the oh, camera. I <laughs> Am I holding it up? You need to get your daughter to do it. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. If the salt blanket whip did a plop, 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 then the salt she would fit on the top of a net whip bit. <laughs> With a and a that is amazing. That's augmented reality That's in a book, crazy. isn't it? Absolutely crazy. That is the future. So how yeah. do you develop that? <laughs> well, we were very lucky. We got somebody from the Callahan Innovation Grant, um, and um, they were looking and saying, "Well, you have to do something new that hasn't really been done." So yeah. AR has been around since oh the 70s, really. Um, 
So we looked at how can we bring it into a game. Mm. So one of the really unique things for us was we've always, we were worried about, you know, kids spending all the time on screen time. Yeah. We, like any parent. So we said, well, how can we incorporate and make something different? So, for example, in the game, you actually play, you have your learner wings, you go down to Officer Harrison, so he's going to teach you how to fly. And you have to go off the screen, go and draw your wings, take a photo, and then that goes in the game, and that's what you'll be flying with. Stop it. This so is amazing. All sorts of notifications and searching for things. So it's really interacting, taking the kids, be creative. Um, in a couple of games later, they'll have to go and cook or make something, upload that. So it's really engaging kids to not just be on the screen. Oh, but it's, nar yeah. it's narrative. It's all about storytelling. And the kids are going to love it and the parents are going to love it because they're not just doing the screen thing. That's right. That's right. That's and, and next is the computer game. That's right. Well, that's coming out in a couple of months. Really excited. I mean, we literally started from a top-down game and we just saw the potential. So it's taking us a little bit longer than what we wanted to, but we're coming up with this 3D immersive game. Um, mm -hmm. Narrative, first, the first of the episode. So we'll probably try and do um, about 12 of these games. Wow. Um, and the same with the TV. You know, we're looking at 11 minutes, 52 mm -hmm. of them. So it's really, wow. it's, it's a beast, but it's fantastic. So how's it going to help with girls' leadership skills? Well, we talk about girls, I guess, because of what we talked about before with Ronella and I both being driven to do this in the first place because of our own daughters and looking ahead to what there was for them in the market. But actually, as we've evolved um, along the way, we've really found that this whole Zingoshi Chronicles story really is about friendship and childhood, innocence and adventure and so on. Um, they go to another planet where there's magic and flying. And so there's nothing actually girly about it per se. And what we're finding is that boys are really interested in it as well. And it's just as relevant. And all the, the themes of um, encouraging childhood, children to um, become creative leaders ultimately mm -hmm. are just as relevant for girls as, as for boys. So um, it's, a, it's a girl's property in the sense that it's got two main girls as characters um, and for all those reasons. But it's not really just for girls no. by any means. I'll no. test it out in my 11 year old. You know, he's a boy. I do. Yeah. 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 Hey, well, thanks God, so much for amazing. joining us. Yeah. Absolutely fascinating. Yeah. Um, but the first book us. from the Zingoshi Chronicles project, Dragonfly, can be purchased online via the Zingoshi website or at selected bookshops. Yes, I've taken everything that's good in the world and put it in one place, which I love. <laughs>